Oh, hello, and welcome to our very big head. Before we celebrate births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time, July 24th edition, all day. And what happened today? In 1878, Lord Dunsany was born, writer of weird fiction. Lord Dunsany? Lord Dunsany? Tomato, tomato? I got it. One of them is probably right and the other is probably wrong. And after years of doing this, I were like four years plus on this. This is like a college degree in my brain. <laughs> um, I still don't know how to pronounce his name, is the point. Uh, Heinz, born today, 942, who was a um, uh, worshiper of Eddie Cochran, no fault there, drummer of the Tornadoes, with their classic uh, Telstar, Telstar track, uh, and had a whole career uh, recording with Joe Meek um, uh, as like a, a front man doing like early 60s rock and roll in Britain. Uh, just like Eddie, as in Eddie Cochran, uh, probably my favorite track, uh, but they're all really good. They're all good sides. That's besides the point. It's also besides the point when it comes to Lee Black Childers, who was born today in 1945, who has a really fascinating history and why entertainment world out there, there hasn't been a, uh, um, I don't know if there's a book on his life, but there should certainly be a movie about his life. Um, uh, maybe a series of films about his life, because he starts off uh, in the like Warhol factory, New York City world, going into, which like, you know, washes into the um, Massachusetts, Kansas City, uh, early 1970s, New York Dolls and all this stuff, and then uh, uh, becomes the Heartbreakers, Shire Thunders and the Heartbreakers' is manager, and uh, brings them to England, like in the mid to late, not late, mid 70s, um, where he then connects with uh, a young Smutty Smith and Levi Dexter and uh, assists them along the way in a fledgling very early version of Levi and the Rock Hats. Uh, and it's just like there in the background and actively loving and involved with uh, all sorts of rock and roll history uh, the whole damn time that it's important. Yeah. Uh, he was also like, a, uh, he's passed away now, unfortunately, uh, but he was like a mainstay in like New York City bars uh, for many years, I, I used to just like go into various bars in East Village and like there you'd be like a barfly just sitting there and talking to whomever. That's one of the things I love about here. You can just like walk into a bar and like, there's Lenny K. There's Lee Black Childers. Uh, Mighty Joe Vincent, younger, but still, come on, always Mighty Joe Vincent of the Devil Dogs. Uh, yeah, what else? Jude A. Um, 1957, Packed House, Make Way, The Exploiteds, uh, Wadi, as well as Big John, both born today, 1957. Uh, Big John left after this record, Troops Tomorrow, excellent. Um, and did a couple of bands and roadies and did different things, but um, if you aren't familiar with a band called The Square Peg, uh, that him and also Wadi's cousin, who else? Was it Gary, I think? Uh, both joined the Square Peg, who released one record that's like a full-on post-punk record and another record um, that has a very undertones feel to it. Uh, but the post-punk one, um, uh, what's it called? Atomic War? New Age Dawning? Something like that. 20th Century Dreaming. I forget. Anyway, it's really good, uh, but it's in my record. 45s are more difficult to get to. What is the name of that square peg 45? Ooh, is it gonna bother me? Comic War, New Age Dawning. No, 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 brain fried. Square peg, do check them out. I don't know if I'm selling them or not, but uh, for us, it's exploited on the day they were born, 1957. Cheers. Till tomorrow, goodbye.